Shalom, this is Talia, and this is day seven of the 40-day revelation challenge. Um, today's revelation, well, first, it's seven days until Yom Kippur. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming fast. Um, but today I realize uh, not only is Yom Kippur a day of fasting, um, reconciling your relationship with the Most High, um, breaking breaking generational curses, you know, uh, opening up uh, deliverance for your soul and for your spirit. Um, but it's also about reconciliation with other people, you know, and um, to spread that deliverance around, not just for you, but for other people too. And a part of Yom Kippur, a part of this repentance season, um, the Most High expect, expects us to um, reconcile relationships that might have been broken in the past or in the future or, or the present, things like that. And so it, any type of uh, name or person that pops up in your head all of a sudden when you're shopping or just going about your day, and or someone's been pressed on your spirit to call them or reach out, don't ignore that. Don't ignore that. It, everything happens for a reason. And um, one particular young lady popped up in my spirit um, to call her a couple times this year, and it just so happened that I ran into her this summer. Um, and you know, she just kept popping up over and over again. I'm like, okay. You know, Father, is is this person, uh, is is there something going on with me and this person? Cause I haven't talked to her in a while, but things have happened between me and this person. But um, it was pressing my spirit to call her to make sure and just say, are we okay? Are we okay? We haven't talked in a while, and their relationship has uh, since uh, um, gone about, and uh, apparently we weren't okay. And so I understand that, you know, just calling and say, are we okay to make amends? Um, because apparently she has some things that was deep seated uh, within herself that, sh that I have, uh, I had offended her. I had, you know, wronged her in the past. And so I began to think, oh my gosh, that has been bothering her for years. And that could have been blocking my blessing as well as hers, it could have been stunting her growth, becoming, you know, you know, bitter or resentment or anger, but that stops your growth. That's that, that creates a clog um, between you and the most high in terms of even hearing his voice, um, having that type of relationship past servant, you know, becoming a friend of the most high, becoming a son and daughter of the most high, that that claw gets in the way of your providence, of your anointing. I mean, I can go on about that, but um, I'm glad I did that because not only was her soul getting, getting delivered, mine was as well. And so I pray that our conversation um, was, was, was beneficial, and I think it was. And I don't think that's going to be the last of it. But I just wanted to put that out there, and it took me to Matthew 5, verse 24. And when um, Yeshua said, If therefore you are offering your gift at the altar, in which that's what we do during Yom Kippur, you know, um, this is what I don't want to be anymore. Here, here is my gift. Here, here is some, here, I'm going to give it back to you. You know, he says, And there, remember that your brother has something against you. Leave your gift there before the altar and go your way. First be reconciled with your brother and then come and offer your gift. Don't come to me. Don't come to the most high and say, you know, I want I want this for myself. I, I pray for this myself. And then you have baggage that you haven't dealt with yet. You know what I'm saying? So um, you want to start your new year fresh. You want to start a whole new year um, with no baggage. So uh, I encourage everyone to do it. It's humbling. It's a humbling experience because you want to go to whoever you may have an ought with. Um, 
with a humble heart and just accept it. I take responsibility. You, no matter what might have happened between you and this person, you take the responsibility. You be that humbling person. You take it on your back and you go before Father and say, you know what, I intercede on your behalf and mine. So it takes a big person to do that. But I, I know you have it in you. Um, uh, it takes courage. So I encourage everyone to do the same thing. And um, I'm excited about Yom Kippur. We have a new address. HOIO is moving on up. So if you want to participate in Yom Kippur, please do. Our address is on our website and is on our Facebook. So until um, next time, Shalom.